When creating skeletons in Modeler, you have the ability to place them anywhere you want. And after you've placed them, you can still edit them. Let's, let's take a look. If I come over to the Setup tab and choose Create Skeletons, I'm just going to draw three quick little skeletons. Okay. Once I commit and I have them made, I can always hit Control T and use the modification tools. This is using drag, but I can use the uh, modification tools in Modeler and adjust my skeletons. They're, they're treated kind of like two-point polygons, so I can go in and I can edit these if I want. I can also select the root uh, or wherever I, I select, I'm going to select the, the root of this hierarchy, but I could select the root of this hierarchy and be able to edit these. But if I select the root of this and come over to Setup, Edit Skeletons, I can always use the Edit Skeletons tool to edit my uh, Skeletons. But actually, there's more of a reason that you would want to come in and use Edit Skeletons, and, and let's take a look at that. I'm going to go ahead and commit to this, save, and send it over to Layout. Okay, let's go to perspective view. I'm going to go to wireframe and let me grab this light and just move it out of the way. And I'm going to convert skeletons. So under the setup tab, convert skeletons, three bones created. And when I go to rotate, okay, if I select this bone and hit Y, our pitch is running this way. The pitch for our root bone is running this way and the pitch for this is running this way. Now we can always go into the setup tab and layout and choose bone twist and adjust these but we can also have it set up so that when we come into layout it's already set up the way we would like it. So I'm going to hop back over to Modeler and I'm going to select Edit Skeletons and we've got these little lollipops here and those are our bank control which would allow us to adjust our pitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I want to adjust the second bone, which is the child of this uh, selected bone. And I'm just going to change the direction that my bank lollipop handle is facing so that I can adjust the pitch for its child. Because remember, we work with a parent coordinate system by default. Okay, so by moving that one, up, let's commit, send it over to layout, and I'm going to go to T for move and just move it right here, convert skeletons, okay, and with this bone selected and this bone selected, we can see that we've got the pitch in the same direction. If I grab this bone, see how now the pitch is running in this axis versus this axis. So what I had to do is move that handle, move that little lollipop for the parent of this bone in order to uh, adjust which direction the bank was going to be in. So if I want to adjust this one as well, all I have to do is adjust its parent. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to hop back over to Modeler and select Edit Skeletons and I'm going to move this one up and I'm going to go ahead and move the other one back down just so we can have a, a comparison. Okay, And I'll commit to that. Send object to layout. And now I'm going to move that one in the back here. Convert skeletons. I'm going to select this bone. We got our pitch in the same direction that we had it. This bone is the same direction that we had it when we first brought it in. And because we moved the handle down on this one it's no longer, the pitch is no longer running in this axis, it's running in its default axis. But if I select this bone, see how the pitch is now running in this axis where before I hadn't adjusted its parent and it was running in this axis. So by adjusting the lollipops over, let's go back to Modeler, by adjusting with Edit Skeletons, by adjusting these little lollipops, we get to control which direction the pitch is going to, to be in. Now this comes in really handy if we uh, have say like the the thumb hierarchy in on a on a hand and it's at an angle. We're not limited to I'm gonna change the um, I'm gonna change this root one. I'm just gonna angle it say like this at, at 45 degrees. And we're not this way we're not limited to just running it down the X or the or, you know the Y or the Z, we can we can have it at an angle, which might come in handy for placing skeletons in 
um, in a hand for the thumb. Uh, let's go ahead and commit to this. I'm going to send this object over to layout and uh, I'm going to move it back here just so we can have some room. Okay, And I'm going to convert skeletons. And now when I select this, my pitch is still where it is, but I changed the lollipop on this to affect it, the child. And now we can see that it's at that 45 degree angle. Okay, Which again, uh, uh, one use for that I can think of is the thumb on a hand. You might need it at a, a particular angle. Okay, So if we're going to work with, if we go over to modify coordinate system, parent, if we're going to work with the, the parent coordinate system, we need to change that lollipop on the parent to affect the child. Okay, So that's just a quick look at edit skeletons. It's a way that we can go in and, and again, I only really use edit skeletons when I want to change that pitch setup. If I want to just adjust where these are placed, I can just use the drag tool and drag those where I need them. But the edit skeletons tool is great for uh, allowing me to align my, my pitch handle uh, where, I, where I need it to be whenever I get started in layout.